Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss further into integration by parts, and I'll go over example two of the example series. Basically, I'll solve this example, which is finding the integral of ln x dx. Now, uh, to do the integral of this, it's not uh, it's not as straightforward or obvious to, to solve this integral. So, the idea of integration by parts is if you could somehow uh, make this simpler, make this uh, function here simpler by taking the derivative, then, then you could probably use integration by parts. So in this case, for example, the derivative of ln x d over dx of ln x equals 1 over x, and now this is simpler. So because of this, we could try applying integration by parts. So, so in integration by parts, we recall the formula, you'll have u dv is equal to uv minus integral from yeah, integral of v du. So now in this case, yeah, in this case we're gonna set u as ln of x because the derivative is gonna be simpler. So we're gonna go u equals ln x, now du, that equals one over x dx. And now in this case the dv that's just going to be equal to dx, there's nothing else it can. And in this case, a dx. Now the integral of this is just going to equal to, well, x. Yeah, so we have v equals x, and and uh, this is a pretty straightforward. So now we could plug this inside, so we get u, which is ln x, dv, which equals dx, equals 2u, which is ln x, times by v, which is x, just put that on the left side, minus the integral from x and now we put in du and du equals to 1 over x times dx that's that's our du so when we plug that in as you can see in this case x ln x minus now this cancels so your integral from 1 or just dx right here so this is the same thing as putting a 1 or just ignoring the 1 and now we integral of uh, 1 that's just going to be well x plus c so ln x minus x plus c. So we always have to add a constant whenever we take a indefinite integral. Yeah, now this is our answer. And as you can see, yeah, it's pretty straightforward applying the integration by parts. And we were able to solve the integral of this ln x. And also you can always double check your work by taking the derivative of the answer. Because if, because if you take the derivative of this, yeah, then you should get ln x, so plus c. And the reason is, uh, like always, the integral is just the antiderivative of uh, the function that you're taking derivative of. So this equals 2, if you take derivative, this derivative of x using product rule, that's just, that's just 1, so we have ln x. Now we plus derivative of, uh, ln, uh, you know, we put an x derivative of ln x, which is uh, 1 divided by x. And now a derivative of x, that's just 1. The derivative of, of a constant is just zero. So we're left with this, and now this equals to ln x plus one minus one. This cancels, that just equals ln x. So we've double checked and this is the right answer. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. And uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.